Hello guys and welcome back to Blue Lizard. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own cool custom logo for your channel on YouTube or Skype or whatever you want to use it for. Um, I I'd probably use it for YouTube and I guess you're here to use one, well, the most of you I guess would be here to uh, see how to make one for YouTube. Um, anyway, so you, you can use it in Skype too, just an example, or Google Plus, you're, well I guess that's YouTube, but uh, you get the point. So anyways, uh, the first thing, the only one first thing that you'll need to do this is this one simple program. And don't worry, it's free, it's really simple to download. I'll leave a download link in the description for you guys so you don't have to Google it and all that crap. Um, I'll leave the direct link in the description so you guys don't have to mess around with it and lots of links and stuff. Um, so really it's just going to download a zip file open it up, run the .exe program inside of it, just click next, next, like install it, just like really any other program set up, and bam, you should be ready to go, you got the program, everything set up, and there you go. Anyways, so the first thing that you want to do is open up the program, obviously, and then what you want to do next is do control R to, oh, oops, there we go, control R to, oop, what is this, uh, nope, what is that, okay, anyway, sorry. Uh, let's do that again. So either click Control R, uh, we're really just going to resize the image, uh, or you can go to Image and Resize. If you can see, it says Control R over here. So what you do is that you open that up, and you want to make sure you uncheck this box. It says Maintain Asset Radio. So what you want to do is that you want to type 1,280 times. Seven, oh, oops, never mind, never mind. That's <laughs> that's the thumbnail sign. Uh, size uh, let's see here 800 times 800 that is the correct profile picture uh, pixel size so what you want to do is that you want to click OK and then we'll just take a sec resize and BAM it should become a square so now it's square and what we want to do next is uh, now it depends on what you like uh, I'm going to be using the gradient tool uh, what the gradient tool is uh, I'll show you here in a sec is that you can simply do these things. You, you can focus it wherever you want, like up here, down here, maybe if you prefer that, maybe at the side, maybe in the corners. Um, but I'm going to put it in the middle for this one. Uh, so do that and then do Control D to deselect. Uh, now, you, you might need some kind of, uh, kind of like image. Uh, you could use text too if you prefer that. Um, but I, I actually have a kind of icon for my uh, channel, so I'm going to go get that for a sec. Just give me a sec here. It's over here, General icons and here it is blue lizard so this is my channel icon kind of it's kind of like a lizard I don't know it really looks like a lizard but you get the point uh, so get an icon if you already have one uh, simply copy it by doing control a unless if you have one uh, and make sure that the background has to be transparent okay it's very important that the background is transparent or it will not work um, but you can use text too I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it with an icon and then, then I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with text you know in a cool way uh, now there's many ways you can do it in text, but you know it depends on what you prefer. So yeah, but after that, if you've done Control A, do Control C, just simply copy the image. Uh, now what we want to do next is we don't want to paste it right here with Control V. What we want to do next is that we want to make a new layer first by clicking this button right here. And if you do not have the Layers tab up, what you do is you go to Windows and click on Layers or click F7, just just like that, very simple. So yeah, make a new layer by clicking this button right here. It's like a little square with a green plus in the corner, I guess. And uh, then make sure you select the layer. It should be called layer two if it's something else. It doesn't matter, just make sure you select that layer. And then simply do control V to paste the image. And as you can see, it's pasted. So uh, you could do some effects to this. You could actually go to the properties of the layer. You could uh, give it some uh, glow or you may maybe even some uh, reflect or you know anything that, you know, fits the image. I'm actually going to use, I'm going to soften this portrait, uh, portrait a little bit just to make it melt in a little bit. You know, you get the point. Uh, get the softness a little bit, get the lightning a little bit more like that, like get the warmth, you know, just, just kind of like that. And uh, as you can see, it looks pretty nice already. And what we're going to do next is, um, well, how, how about adding some more, more text? So you, really, as I said, you can do whatever you want with this. It's up to you. Uh, but uh, you know you, you can use images anything oh yeah by the way uh, I did that by uh, pressing uh, M uh, the move key it's this one you can uh, move around the image and make sure you select the layer too because otherwise it will not work so here we go 
And the next thing that you want to do is create a new layer. Wait, let me just delete that one. Okay. So after that, just create a new layer. Click the same button, the little square with the green plus in the corner, in the down right corner. And then what you want to do is you want to click T. If it doesn't really respond, what you can do is you can click this T right here, text. And what you want to do is you want to click somewhere at the image, and then this one thing will pop up. You can drag it around like this, or just simply right click, drag it around. And what you want to do is you want to type your name of your channel, anything you know, anything that you just you know fits your channel. Like for example, uh, b blue lizard for mine, and you probably want to put the font size a little bit bigger. And uh, as you see, you've already got like a pretty cool, yeah, profile pic. So you, you can you can add some effects to the like text if you want. You can add another font. Like uh, for example, I usually use this one. And uh, let's see here. Uh, I actually downloaded this one at defont.com. I think it's called or dot org. Yeah, dot com. I'll leave the link in that for the description by uh, for sure. If you guys want to get your own fonts, uh, download some. It's it's really simple. Uh, really really awesome site. But um, for example, you could do this, and then simply uh, you're pretty much done. You, you you can add more effects if you like to. Uh, you could uh, invert the colors. Uh, like that, you can uh, copy the image by clicking this one, duplicate layer, and then you can invert it again, simply like that. And then what you can do, you can go back to the black one, the the one at the the one you did previously. Simply go to blurs, Gaussian blur, and put it up to about seven, maybe I don't know, eight, and click OK. Duplicate that layer a little bit, and simply merge it down with this one. And there you go, you got a really cool profile pic, and you know, you can change that. If you don't like the black outline here, you can uh, you can go to uh, levels, and uh, you, you can uh, choose some other colors. I'm just going to, let's say, uh, let's say I want red, for or blue, blue. Uh, I go making all these blue pretty much like this. Give me a sec here. This might take a second. And, oh, nope. Oh, it's, see, it's starting to get blue. Let me just... Sometimes it does this. I don't really know why. It's kind of annoying, but uh, it takes a little while before you get it in the right spot. There we go, and now it is blue. So as you can see, this this, this is really cool. Um, you, you can you can do lots of things with this, but um, it, it that's that's the thing what I like with this program. Plus it's free, which is even more awesome. Uh, you you can add some gradient effects to the actual text. You can select them, pretty much like this with the wand. By the way, yeah, the magic wand. It's this one. And uh, you hold control, select the things, and make sure you selected the layer too. Um, so that you go to, like, let's say, like, just, just use a normal gradient. We can use that. We can get some, some of that, maybe some of uh, that, and we could do that. You use, as you can see, you can do really cool stuff with this program. Um, you can make your own profile picture, anything really. So uh, I'll show a picture of the final results of the image. And uh, as you see, I, I mean, it's it's pretty okay. I mean, it's not ugly. It's not it's not it's not bad. It's it's like you know, if it's for any really channel you want, uh, you can you can do the grain effects however you like. I'm not saying that you have to do like this, um, but you know, it's up to you how you like it, what you prefer. But uh, yeah, um, I guess that's it. So yeah, but uh, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this helped you out in some way. And uh, if you want more tutorials, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I will try to answer as fast as I can. Uh, also, leave a like to this video if you did enjoy it and if it did help you out. Um, also, go check out some other of my vids on my channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.